Hey, it's Tori, and I've got a story for you. Today's story is called The Best Beak in Boonaroo Bay. It's written by Narelle Oliver, and it's read with permission by Scholastic. On most days, Boonaroo Beak is a calm and quiet place. But this was not always so. One morning, not so very long ago, the birds began to bicker. And it wasn't a little scuffle over food. No, they were quarreling over something much more serious. Who has the best beak in Boonaroo Bay? My beak has the most exquisite shape, declared the royal spoonbill. Exquisite, scoffed the darter. I can't imagine how you catch anything with that monstrosity. Of course, nothing is quite so handsome and useful as a hook, proclaimed the cormorant. A hook, sputtered the curlew. A hook is no match for my slender, curved beak. The best kind of beak, insisted the oyster catcher, is a strong, sharp wedge, just like mine. And so the argument continued long and loud. Finally, the wise old pelican spoke. If you must decide who has the best beak in Boonaroo Bay, a contest is the answer. The birds were most impressed with this idea. So they began to plan. Best beak contest, attention beak owners. Time, first magpie call after the return of the Shearwater. Place, where Curlew Creek meets Pelican Point. Conditions of entry. One, entry is free and open to all Boonaroo Bay resident beak owners. Two, this is a contest of skill and chance plays no part. Three, the judge's decision will be final and no further bickering will be entered into. Four, prize medals are not transferable and cannot be exchanged for worms, fish, etc. In the twinkling of a sandpiper's eye, it was time for the contest to proceed. There are five events, announced the pelican. The bird who wins the most of these events will have, without a feather of a doubt, the best beak in Boonaroo Bay. Easy, muttered the spoonbill. Let us begin, continued the penguin. To win the first event, you must collect the shrimp from the shallow mud near the mangroves. With his wide beak swishing from side to side, the royal spoonbill sieved the mud quickly and thoroughly. In no time, he had gathered a pile of shrimp, while the other birds had none. I knew my beak was the best, squawked the spoonbill. The contest is not finished yet, interrupted the penguin. To win the next event, the, con the contestant must spear a fish. Before the others had even flinched a feather, the darter disappeared and then emerged. Superbly spiked, cried the pelican. However, the contest is still not over. To win the next event, you must extract a peepee -pee from its rock hard shell. The birds began to hammer and prod, except for the oyster catcher. Carefully, she forced her strong chisel beak between two parts of the shell and snap. Expertly opened, exclaimed the pelican. But of course, two events still remain. The winner of the next event must find a worm deep in the sand. This time, only the curlew knew what to do. A perfect plunge, remarked the pelican. Now, for the last event, you must catch a slippery, slithery eel. Impossible, declared the spoonbill. But the cormorant did not hear him. Magnificently hooked, shouted the pelican. And congratulations to you all. This can't be, spluttered the spoonbill. I'm afraid so, replied the darter. It seems incredible, but it appears that we are all the winners. And indeed, there is no very best beak in Boonaroo Bay. Now there is no need for bickering in Boonaroo Bay. Once again, it is a calm and quiet place. 
except for a splash here and a snap there as each beak hunts in its own best way. The end. Isn't that a good story? They're really, really competitive and they each think that they're the best. And really, they are each the best at something. But also, another bird is better than them at something else. What are you best at? And what do you admire in other birds, well, humans in your life? That's all for today. I hope that you find some birds in your neighborhood uh, to watch. There's a lot of them that are migrating through right now. And I'll see you again for another story very soon. Thanks, have a good day.